Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video, and in today's video, we have another one team versus all that uses Luffy on the team to give you guys a few more Kazuna tickets for your boxes. And the team's led by Big Mom. Uh, shout out to my Alliance member Porky. He did put this team together. Um, it, it works really, really well. Uh, however, you do want to make sure that you have either the Bardo support, the new Bardo support, or you just limit break expand that rare recruit pudding and max out her recovery bind sockets that's very very important you'll see at the end of the video why that is important so make sure to hang around to the end and if you enjoy this kind of stuff belt like button hit the subscribe button do all that good stuff for me we're starting off on the psi variation and this team does use a friend captain kaido bringing a friend captain kaido is going to maximize the amount of ticket gains you guys get make sure you are using a friend captain kaido for your run so that way you get as many super boss tokens as possible on stage two against zoro there's defense up in threshold queen takes care of that Gives you color affinity, you can use top musica, you can get the tack and orbs. And with the orb manipulation, you just tap with Kaido and it's a very, very easy kill. On the final stage, there is a very, very annoying pain debuff. And you take 55% HP cut, you get special binded on your sailors. Something else to note as well, all of these fights are above level 30. So what you're seeing here is level 30 plus for the one team versus all. Now Kaido has the ability to do a 40% heal, which is awesome because we do need that HP back because the pain is 15k and it's very, very annoying. Once you use the Kaido special and the Big Mom special, you get an attack boost, you have threshold, you have attack down, you get a conditional boost and with the Zora support, you get an orb boost. With that, you have an attack and an orb boost, which means when you use King, he gives you a chain buff, a base stat and a tap timing buff. He also has the Kaido support, so that way you guys can get access to a base stat boost and then you can finish it off with the Big Mom Super EX to give yourself a color affinity buff. With that, you basically have every buff that you need to absolutely smack poor old king, uh, kid. So, um, beautiful. Need to note as well with this particular team, make sure you have queen on the bottom row or king on the bottom row as well. Ideally, you want to have both these characters down the bottom. Otherwise, you might struggle to get tandem orbs, which can ruin your super tandem. If you have king or queen at super tandem level 5, you're going to get access to it with this particular team because you have Kaido as a friend captain. So, with Kaido's super type, he gives one orbs on the top and middle row. So, I would ideally have both king and queen on the bottom row. So, that way you don't muddle up like you're about to see in this particular fight. Now, Against the quick one or the, the multicolored one, on stage two there is damage null. So utilizing pudding here is very, very handy. And then you can actually utilize the uh, Big Mom Super EX to give yourself color affinity. Now, we're going to keep the Queen special for the final stage. And you can get lucky with some semblance slots. But pudding is actually going to give herself a matching orb. Um, which I do believe gets turned into Semler slots. I might have just got lucky there. If you guys get any Semler slots on the first turn, make sure to keep them. So that way, when you move into that stage, you don't have to worry about that very annoying orb roll. The Color Affinity Big Mom makes it a lot easier to kill there. Plus, um, Pudding gives you an attack boost as well. On the final stage, there's five turns of defense up. You get special binded. There's six turns of attack down. It's very annoying stuff. So this is why we really want to make sure that we have um, our Queen special ready. Now, once again, you want to use Big Mom. You want to use Kaido before using Alba, so then that way you get the attack boost and the orb boost. Yes, the orb boost for Zora is only for Dex, but the, the buffs that Alba gives after having an attack and orb boost is worth more than what like a shitty 1.75 orb boost that Doflamingo could give. So it's it's just it just works way better in that regard. Um, even like the 1.5 times orb that um top music it gives it's just not worth it unfortunately you could definitely put like do flamingo on queen and then use it there but look it unfortunately it's it's just not worth it and as you can see it's a very easy kill without the super tandem but with the super tandem you will do more damage all right so finally we go up against the strength variation and against this particular fight if you don't have the new bardo support which attaches to that free to play luffy you're going to want to make sure that you limit break expand your pudding. Doing so and maxing her out gives you level 5 recovery bind. And if you didn't, something like this will unfortunately happen. If you guys forgot just like me, let me know in the comment section below. I want to see hashtag rip stump and hashtag we love porky. Um, he did tell me. I did not listen. I totally forgot. And here we are. I've been running my other Alba team. This is the first time I'm using these teams. I just sort of know how they work. And, um, of course, I got here and went, shit, I didn't limit break expand pudding. But, nevertheless, it'll still show you guys that the team, this team actually works. I'm still waiting for this assist to be cleared, actually. And, um, 
It's a good time to sit down and record because, like, I'm just sort of waiting for my alliance members to, you know, pick up the slack for me. On stage two, there's damage reduction and you get a full board of block orbs. You can keep similar slots here and there, but just use queen on this stage. Queen just rotates them. And it's it's so much nicer. You don't need queen for the final stage for this fight, so it's just, it's awesome. Plus, you can use Luffy to remove the damage reduction here, which is excellent as well. So this way you have color affinity, top music gives you attack and orbs, and you can just easily tap the Kaido and do something like that. Now, on the final stage... After level 31, uh, you get a whole bunch of nasty stuff. There is damage null, I believe. You take 50,000 damage on entry, and then there's 100,000 damage on death. So you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this now. Uh, I'm using the Mr. 3 support. Any type of damage reduction support you are going to need for this final stage. Because um, 100,000 is a lot. So you could use a ship that gives HP as well, and that way you probably can tank it with the Kaido heal, because with Kaido's super type, he heals 40%. However, there's five turns of recovery binder, and if you don't have that limit break, uh, you're going to be looking very similar to what you're about to see right here. But nevertheless, the damage is enough. Car King gives you um, b uh, base stats, chain boost, chain multiplier. He does all the good stuff there. You have a um, color affinity with Big Mom, attack boost with Kaido. Like The, the team's pretty much got it all covered, so it's... um. So it's, a, it's a really, really nice time. Um, and then, yeah, you just you can get Queen Special back too, which is actually crazy. But as you guys will see here, after we sort of kill, um, Kid hits us for 100k, which go down to 50k, uh, and then 45 with some sockets and stuff. But as you can see, I died. But that's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to bell the like button, hit the subscribe button. Do all that good stuff. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Late! Save me, your bums.